<laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm going to keep this to just a few words because I know that's how Kyle would have wanted it. But you know, it's really difficult to put into a few words some 50 years of a special friendship. A friendship that began on the football field, then grew into so many other aspects of our lives. And let me just say something right up front. As far as I'm concerned, Kyle Rook was one of the greatest athletes that I've ever seen. I think he could have played professional baseball. I think he could have played professional golf if he'd have taken it up. But Kyle chose football, and because he did, all of us who played with him were blessed with the opportunity to get to know a remarkable human being. Kyle's 11-year career with the Giants could have been so much greater had he not stepped into a gopher hole or something like that as a rookie back in 1951, tearing up his knee in an exhibition game. Kyle would go on to play remarkably for 11 years, setting Giants records as a wide receiver and making plays that amazed even us, and doing it on what amounted to one leg, and often in excruciating pain. I came in the next year, and I think well drafted me to be a defensive back. And one of the things I used to kid Kyle about that gopher hole was that they moved Kyle to wide receiver, and I went to a running back. Had that not happened, had that not gopher hole not been there, Kyle would have been in the Hall of Fame, and I probably would have been that defensive back that helped make Johnny Unitas and Ray Berry legends. <laughs> but he was truly remarkable. Off the playing field, we all looked up to Kyle as our quiet, thoughtful, totally unselfish leader. I think the main reason so many of us would choose to name our children after Kyle, and you heard so much about it today from, from so many already, we saw in him what we lacked in ourselves. Our friendship was something special in my life, and I like to think it was in Kyle's. It was a wonderful place to go when we needed to talk about what was going on in our lives, our families, or just talk about the good old days of PJs, Shores, Minucci's, or kids, and then later grandchildren. It's hard to believe that Kyle's grandson, John, and my grandson, Michael, last year, this really happened, just by the luck of the draw, met his dorm roommates at Stanford University. And Kyle and I chuckled about that. We could just imagine the two of them, Michael and John, trying to argue over whose grandpa was the best football player. <laughs> That's what Kyle and I talked about the last time we were together in this past spring. I wish that I had said then what I would like to say now, and that is what an extraordinary life Kyle shared with so many of us. He touched us all with a rare and a delicate grace. And the fact that he never once complained about a gopher hole in Jonesboro, Arkansas, says to me so much about the character of this wonderful man we were all so privileged to know.